In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to fit a fan and a battery into a fursuit for less than $10. My name is The Maraday and welcome to episode 1 of The Electric Fursuit. Let's go! For this project, we will need a fan, a battery pack, some wire, and a switch. Now let's go through each in turn. Firstly, the fan. This is the business end of the system and probably the most important. What we have here is a 12 volt PC case fan. It's the most common type of fan fitted into fursuits and comes in loads of different sizes and speeds. The first thing to look for is size. This is measured in millimeters and is the width of the entire fan and casing. Usually the bigger the fan, the more air it can move. Secondly, we need to look for the amperage. This is how much energy the fan will draw. The more energy it draws, the faster it'll spin and the more air it'll move. However, it will probably be noisier and drain your batteries faster. Next, we need to find a battery pack. Remember how we said that the fan was 12 volts? This is very important when choosing the right pack. The easiest pack to use is just a AA battery holder. They're cheap, come in many sizes and can be fitted with rechargeables. As each AA battery is about 1.5 volts, we need 8 of them to make the full 12 volts. If you wanted your fan to run at half the speed, then we'd use 4 of them. This can be really useful if your fan is too noisy. As a rule of thumb, as long as the battery pack voltage is less than the fan voltage, you'll be fine. If it's more, let's say a 15 volt battery powering a 12 volt fan, then it might spin really fast, but it might not spin at all, or it might not spin ever again. The last thing we need before hooking these two up is some wire. Another good rule of thumb here is to look at the wire on the fan. You need to either match this in size or go bigger, and in this case bigger is better. For instance this is good, this is great, and this is starting to be misguided. Now we have all we need to make a basic circuit. All we need to do now is connect the red and black wires from the battery to their respective wires on the fan. Cut two lengths of wire and strip back the insulation. Ideally, we would use wire strippers here. However, you can use a knife, your teeth, or some scissors you got in a Christmas stocking three years ago. For reference, red is positive or power, and black is negative or ground. If you get it the wrong way around, don't worry, all that'll happen is your fan will spin backwards. We're going to be going into soldering and wire work in another video, so for the moment just twist the wires together so we can make sure our circuit works. Now as soon as we put the batteries in, the fan will start to spin. We can stop the fan by simply breaking the circuit like this. If we place a switch in the gap, then we can turn the fan on and off. There are lots of different switches you can get, but for this project I'd recommend a simple rocker switch. In this case we just need to tie each wire to each of the terminals and we have a working switch. We should now have a working battery pack, fan and switch all working in unison. In next week's episode we're going to be looking into soldering so we can get this all ready for fitting into a fursuit. Until then, if you've got any questions or comments, please drop me a line down below. Until then, I hope this has helped. Maraday out.